Hi, my name is Zakarin, and welcome to another one of my outrageously amazing, insanely enlightening Master Keys of Creation, where I show you how to create and attract the joy, well-being, and abundance that you desire, and how to be the unlimited master of creation that you truly are, to literally make all your dreams come true, and you'll find tons more awesome, empowering videos, podcasts, articles, books, products, and support and guidance at Zakarin.com to help you easily create and attract the happiness, health, wealth, abundance, and freedom that you desire. All right, so here we go. It's no one else's job to like you or love you. It is no one else's job to like you or love you or respect you or understand you or appreciate you or honor you or want you or believe in you or support you, etc., etc., except yourself and your own source. And it is not your job to like, love, respect, understand, appreciate, honor, etc. anyone else. It is each individual person's own job to love, honor, and respect themselves. Only themselves. So you, know, you can let all of humanity, including your lovers and friends and parents and siblings and family, etc. off the hook from your projections, demands, and beliefs that it is their job to, lo to love, honor, respect, understand, and support you 100%, and especially unconditionally. They're just not able to do that yet. You can release humanity from the prison you have enslaved them in to act in pleasing ways to make you happy. It is no one else's job to make you happy <clears throat> except you. Especially because it is impossible to actually make another person happy. Because a person's own joy only comes from their own joyful thoughts, not from outside sources. They can react joyfully to your joyful actions, but still it is their thought and beliefs and how they react about what you are doing that brings them joy, not your actions and not your love or support or respect, etc., etc., that is bringing them joy. That's where humans get it all ass backwards because they believe the things that they want come from other people, but it does not. Nothing that you want comes from other people. It just appears that way. They're just the delivery system because what everyone really wants is to be happy, healthy, and prosperous. But no one can give you those things. Other people can be cooperative elements in your reality, in your creation soup that helps you create those things, but they can't assert those things upon you because they can't think and feel for you. No one else can think or feel for you, so no one else can create for you. There is only a law of attraction, not a law of assertion. So no one can assert goodness upon you or badness upon you. Humans erroneously believe that other people should treat them honorably and respectfully and love them, etc., etc. But no one has any control over what other people think and feel. You can try to be perfect so everyone loves you, or you can try and coerce everyone to act in pleasing ways to make you happy, you know, by being a gangster or whatever. But all of that external focus and action is hard work and just drains your life force energy and makes you unhappy because you have zero control over what other people think, feel, believe, and do. And all you ever want anyway is to just feel good about yourself. And so it is extremely inefficient and ultimately a complete failure trying to manipulate yourself and other people to be certain external ways so that you can be internally happy, so that you can react to what they're doing. A much more efficient course of action is to just cut out the middleman and be unconditionally happy, regardless of what anybody else is doing. In other words, to get yourself to a place within where you give yourself all of the things you want, you know, that you think you should get or want to get from other people such as love, honor, and respect, but you give it to yourself. And you'd be happy regardless of what anybody else is doing, whether they love you, honor you, respect you, or support you or not. 
And even if you don't have the mastered ability to love, honor, and respect for yourself yet, because you've practiced the opposite for so freaking long, if you can just surrender the fight and stop trying to, you know, get love and obtain honor and demand respect, etc., from people and external sources and just let yourself allow the 100% unconditional love, honor, and respect that your source has for you and always has had for you and always will have for you. If you can do that, if you can even just start taking steps towards that, then at least you're on the right track and you're going to feel great. you got to become an unconditional lover of self by connecting to who and what you truly are as source, as the God self that you are that always loves you completely unconditionally. That's the love you have, that's the only love you have complete control over because it's love you don't have to control. You don't have to try to get it. You don't have to act in certain ways to make your source happy and approve of you and respect you and honor you and then love you and like like you, like the humans do. Source loves you and honors and respects you unconditionally, 100%, 24-7, and can do in no other way. All you have to do with Source is surrender and allow the love to flow to you. To allow the un unconditional love of Source to, all, to flow to you because it's always flowing to you. All you have to do is stop thinking those limited oriented thoughts, those judgmental oriented thoughts, those doubtful thoughts that are blocking the flow of love and abundance from source that is always flowing to you 100,000% whether you're allowing it or not. You're the only force in the universe that can block that unconditional flow of abundance and love and joy that's always being sent to you, that's always heading towards you, and that is you because you are source. You're not disconnected from your source. It only appears that way. No one in the entire universe, not even supervillains, not even, you know, the greatest supervillain ever, ever devised can block your own flow of love and abundance and joy. Only you can do that. And similarly, as far as love from other humans goes, the only creative control that you have in regards to love flowing from other people is, again, to just surrender and allow it to flow. Fighting for it and manipulating for it and making deals for it and making vows for it does not work because eventually everybody gets tired of being in your prison. You, they, get, they get tired of being your freaking slave. Don't count on love to flow from the human part of humans. Only the source part. You can always count on the source part to flow love to you, just not the human part. In other words, as I said, you have no control over love flowing from other humans. I mean, you can make deals and you can make agreements and you can make marriage vows and manipulate yourself and other people to try to get love from other people, but that's way too much work and it's way too inconsistent and it only flows intermittently because people are fickle and then, you know, your life and your love is dependent upon others and then you feel helpless and you feel powerless and you feel like you have no control over your own life and you feel like no one loves you and, and it's a, no one cares for you. Wah, 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 wah. It's the classic codependent, powerless human condition that most humans fall into the trap of. And that totally sucks. So throw that out the freaking door. So instead of working hard and killing yourself for love from other people who can't really give it to you anyway, just surrender and allow love to flow to you from everywhere and everything, from your source, from who you truly are as source, from the source of all beings, from the source of abundance, from the source of joy, etc. Because 
your father may not remotely understand you, or your mother may not have the awareness to respect you, or your lover may not be wise enough to honor you, or your brother or your sister don't even have a clue who you are and, and don't have the ability to love, honor, and respect you. And your friends, they're, they're not living in your moccasins. They don't know who you are. They can't possibly understand you. But every human being has a soul. Every human being has a source self, if you will, that loves you 100% unconditionally, just like your own source does. So you got to focus on that and just allow that love to flow to you by paying very little attention to the human part, especially their undesirable uh, personality traits and judgments. Very few humans have even the remotest ability to love you unconditionally, which is what everyone wants. But yet, people keep looking for love in all the wrong places and, the, and from all the wrong faces. But it can't come from normal people. People don't have the spiritual awareness to love unconditionally. People look at other people and look to other people to give them something that those humans have no ability, ability to give. It's like going to the grocery store to buy a car. You can't buy a car at a grocery store. you got to go to a car dealership to buy a car. It's the same with love. People go to the bars and the nightclubs and the dating apps to try to find love, but there's no, there's, <clears throat> they're searching in the wrong place. There ain't no love there. The dating apps say you can find love here, but that's false advertising. There's no love there, at least not the kind of love you're really, really after. There's conditional love there, yeah, for sure. And if you're after conditional love, well, that is 100%, uh, uh, you know, that is. So condition. what is conditional love? 100, conditional love is love that is given or taken away, given or taken away, depending on your actions and your behavior and your personality and your looks and your fitness and your beauty or your sexiness or your handsomeness or how good of a lover you are, or how caring you are. You know, but, but when you're going for unconditional love, that is 100% a, uh, a trap. But if you want conditional love, based upon what you do and how good you can do it and how sexy you are, etc., etc., well, the dating apps and so forth are the right shop. But if you're after love that is not conditional in nature, upon, you know, and not conditional upon your actions and not conditional upon your looks and your behavior and your worthiness and you know how great of a lover you are and how great of a how caring you are and how good of a cook you are etc then you better go shopping somewhere else but that unconditional love that you truly want well you don't have to do anything or go anywhere to find it you don't have to go shopping for it it's always flowing to you 24/7 the love that you truly want, you don't have to prove your worthiness to receive it. You don't have to look a certain way or be a good lover or be uh, thin and fit and sexy and bring flowers and write poetry and be a good provider or be a good wife or be a good husband or be a good father or mother or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever the fuck. No matter what you do or have done, bad or good, loving or not, generous or not, caring or not, it does not matter to your source. Your source never ever stops loving you, not for a second. Your source loves you unconditionally, unconditionally, no conditions attached all the time and always will. Even if you decide to become Darth Vader's apprentice, where well, your source will still love you unconditionally, 100%. Even if you have an affair with your wife's best friend and uh, and take your wife's uh, dog uh, and her truck uh, and max out her credit cards, um, well, your source will still love you. Even if you're a drug addict, drug addict and, an, and an alcoholic and a gambler uh, with a porn addiction, uh, heroin addiction, 
Uh, doesn't matter. Your source loves you 100% unconditionally. No matter what evil, hurtful, bad thing you have done that you believe is wrong or other people have told you is wrong or even if you believe you have failed at, at something or believe you haven't lived up to your potential and really did something with never really did something with your life or believe you've been unethical or greedy etc etc no matter what your source never stops loving you 100 percent completely unconditionally whereas if you're still looking for love from humans then you've got to do what other people do to get their love and approval you got to join religions and political parties and groups and proclaim that you believe the same way as everyone else so they'll love you and that is a really fucked up way to get love because as soon as you have one thought that is contrary to the agreed upon dogma well you're out you you get thrown out of the cave to be eaten by the saber-toothed tigers baby sorry and now you've got to look for love for some from some other group or some other religion and join the group who got thrown out of the other group or the group who disagrees with the other group or the group who has decided that we must kill the other group so that all that is left is our group hence the creation of wars and tyranny and genocide so if you're tired of looking for love from the wrong places and from the wrong in the wrong faces where no love actually exists then i suggest you look where it does exist look where the only place it really exists and that is within yeah i know that sounds pretty airy fairy but that's the only place where it is source you because you are not disconnected from source source is not outside of you you are source source is you that's why so many people can't find god anywhere including religions because god isn't in a bloody church or in a book or in a set of commandments or in a set of beliefs or a set of laws god is everywhere and god is most importantly within because you are not separate from god so source god source is not separate from you you are not separate from god source or god source is not separate from you you're the only one who puts up a dam between you and source you don't have to attain some sort of degree of enlightenment or go through initiations or ascend or believe any certain ways or do any certain things to find your source and and reconnect to source because your source never went anywhere and is not sitting on a throne judging you and waiting for you to shape up so he she it can finally love you because you follow the right rules or you, you bow down in undying worship or you believed in this or believed in that just stop the chatter that doesn't matter and stop all the unnecessary futile action to prove your worthiness and stop looking for love outside of yourself and just sit and breathe quiet your mind and you'll find the love that you've been searching for all your life it was already there stop looking outside of yourself love the abundance the joy everything you want is right there within you that is the true point of meditation not to achieve some sort of state of enlightenment where you can finally raise your vibration enough to feel god's presence that's bullshit yes you can certainly have you know you certainly have to raise your vibration uh, but not so you can earn or learn anything or attain some sort of level of self-realization the real point of meditation is just to, to just to shut up stop thinking especially stop the stinking thinking stop thinking all the crap that is stopping you from feeling your source presence that's the point of meditation to, to just stop the momentum of the negative train the doubt train the i'm not good enough train the i'm powerless train i'm the i'm i'm the unworthy train etc etc so that you can get your train headed towards fun and i'm fabulous and i'm wonderful 
Meditation is not designed so that you can somehow reach source. But it is so source can finally reach you because you are no longer blocking source's love from coming to you. You don't have to find your own source or achieve some sort of state of enlightenment to find your source. Just stop doing all the crap that you've been doing that blocks yourself from feeling your own Source. Stop listening to all of the ignorant humans who believe that they must jump through a thousand hoops to please God and please humanity and finally feel God's love and feel accepted and feel honored and respected, etc. I mean, that's why no one, well, a lot of people do not, probably most people, uh, don't feel God's love. Don't feel the love of source because they're running around planet Earth searching everywhere for God when God is is right there. It's like, you know, people are running around looking. It's like you're looking for your sunglasses and your sunglasses are on your head, looking for your keys and they're in your bloody hand. People are running around trying to prove worthiness to receive God's love when no worthiness ever needs to be proven because the unconditional love of source is flowing 24-7 completely, 100% unconditionally, regardless of what you think, say, do, or believe. People are running around saying, where's the love? Where's the respect? Where's the honor? Where's the compassion? Where's the caring? Where's the... You know, and to each question, God's source says, it is within you. I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds... Airy fairy spiritual, but it's fucking true! For Christ's fucking sake! People are running around looking for God in books and laws and churches and religions and beliefs. And God is always just saying, Hey baby, I'm within you. Source is always vibrating. I'm within. I'm within, baby. Nothing else. God's source never says, You fucking idiot! Stop looking for love over there. I, I'm in love is over here, you fuckwit. Now, source just vibrates and shines. I am within. I am within. That's how God sounds, of course. You are me and I am you. You are the God you are looking for. You are the love you are looking for. You are the well-being and abundance you are looking for. You are the riches and the freedom you are looking for. You are the joy and the fun that you are looking for. Source never says, Hey, don't go over there, you fucking dickhead. No, source is never ever negative. Never ever, source is only ever positive. Source never says, doesn't, ne source never tells you what not to do. Source only vibrates goodness and fun and joy and prosperity source never says thou shalt not source only says or actually vibrates because source doesn't speak source just vibrates the fun stuff's over here the joy's over here the love's over here the fun stuff's over there what you want is over here abundance is over here my friend your source is 100% 24-7 guiding you to better and better things and better people and more fun things and more fun people and more joy and more abundance and more riches and more fun things. Source never guides you down a dark path uh, so that you can learn some freaking lesson or prove your mastery or any other kind of sort of spiritual or religious kind of bullshit like that. Your source only leads you on the path of least resistance, not the path of most resistance, so that you can prove that you're somehow worthy because you've you know, uh, transcended uh, resistance, transcended problems, etc., etc. Source only leads you on the path of least resistance to whatever you want. The path of and the path of least resistance, of course, is always allowance. But because of your practice, thoughts, and built-up negative momentum, sometimes the path of least resistance is still a sucky path because you're not uh, able to quite make a, a you know you're not able to make a quantum leap from the valley to the to the mountain. 
you got to do it one step at a time. The point is there is no such thing as a quantum leap. The only way to get to the top of the mountain is one step at a time. And there are easier e easier pathways to the top. And I can tell you that I'm a, I'm a mountain climber and a rock climber. And there's always an easier path. And sometimes the harder path is fun if you're a rock climber. But if you're not a rock climber, well, you know, you might want to just take the easier path. Because otherwise you're going to fall down the fucking mountain. <clears throat> so there are always easier paths to the top of the mountain. And, e and harder paths. And if your belief structure from your practice limited thinking is a belief that the only way to the top is through hard work and sacrifice and self-flagellation, well, you're going to keep picking the hardest path over and over again and resisting the easy ones because they seem lazy or too easy. All the while, Source is shining the light on the easier path that you your source recommends taking because uh you know it's more fun <clears throat> you know a, an easier path that you just might take because it's not too far fetched you know source knows that the yellow brick road is going to seem way too easy for you to believe is possible to take to get to the top so your source might you know guide you the easier path might still be a kind of a difficult path but the gravel road you know the, the reason source will do that is because the the gravel road you'll believe the gravel road <clears throat> so you'll take that one because you know it's believable the nice smooth paved road. Oh no, that's too. That's too easy. That's too. That's just lazy. So, you says, all right. Well, here's the gravel road. It's not, you know. But if you can just stop the old chatter that doesn't matter and and stop listening to all those old beliefs that you have practiced thinking that was drummed into your head that life is hard and life is a sacrifice and life is a struggle and money is a struggle and you got to work hard for money and money is evil and love is hard and relationship is a struggle etc and just listen and feel for your own source to look for and surrender to ease well then the gravel road transforms into the golden yellow glittery road paved with diamonds and your velvet feather chariot arrives pulled by unicorns and you eat strawberries dipped in chocolate and sip champagne while a sexy massage therapist gives you a neck rub as the angels and all the ascended rock and rollers play the most heavenly music for you uh, as you blissfully and easily and smoothly cruise all the way to the Emerald City. And your life becomes a non-stop, blissful, easy, fun, exciting, abundant, rich, loving, joyful adventure. And all your dreams come true. Expect your dreams to come true. And they will. Because your wish is your command. The entire universe 100% has your back and wants you to succeed. Unconditionally. Every single desire that you have, source is 100% behind it. Well, the positive ones anyway. The entire universe is behind any desire that you have and will help you create it, positive or negative. But your source is always focused on your positive intentions and 100% is behind you all the way and is guiding you on the path of least resistance, which is the path of most, most allowance to being, doing, and having whatever you want. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this vodcast. It's no one else's job to like you or love you but you. So if you did get something from it, and I know you did, please comment, share it with your friends, bless them with these amazing teachings by forwarding it to them. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notifications of my newest videos. Um, and come visit me at zakiron.com for more self-empowering goodies to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality. <clears throat> and... Um, also, contact me. 
Because I can show you how to achieve the financial freedom that I know you want. Everybody wants it. The, ba the purpose of life is joy and the basis of life is freedom. And you have the freedom to create whatever you want. And that includes riches. That includes wealth. And I'll show you, how, show you how to get your money working hard for you rather than you working hard for your money. Because life and money is supposed to be easy. And can be if you say yes to abundance. And yes to ease. And yes to fun. So contact me on my website or find me on Facebook. I'm the only Zakyron Sheehan on planet Earth and on Facebook. My name is Zakyron and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Thanks again for watching this video or listening to this podcast. And I wish you immense abundance and fun and joy on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And of course, remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!